The doctor in the house today is Dr. Chris, and uh, we're looking at the, the headlines, Doctor. I'm only laughing because he just gave me a little secret there. He said, he said it's his birthday today. Oh, He's 157 <laughs> years of age. Today. I'm looking well as the testosterone <laughs> and the vitamin injections. He knows how to do it. He knows <laughs> what good. to eat. Looking good. Yeah. Looking good. So the headlines affecting everybody uh, today, we're going to talk, first of all, about salt, salt yeah. and, um, and, and why it seems to be very bad for you. Yeah, um, they, they, they've shown that high salt intake doubles your risk of heart failure. Now, most people aren't impressed by heart failure. What is it? Mm. It's not dramatic like heart attack or stroke, mm. which are sudden uh, life-threatening conditions. Heart failure is a condition that comes on very slowly, very gradually, and just gets worse and worse. Is that the same as heart disease? Well, heart disease covers everything that goes wrong with the heart, mm. whereas heart failure is one so of the many kind of heart diseases. Up on you yeah, slowly. and the, the, the thing is, that it's one of the most common causes of hospital admissions in this country in the over 60s. So um, it's that common, yet we don't know. So, about what it. is it about what does salt do that's bad, and what do you call high doses of salt? Well, How much do you have to be eating? Well, no, that, that, that's difficult when you talk about doses, but basically, salt causes a, an increase in blood pressure. You know, we know that, that's well established. And of course, an increase in blood pressure, your heart's trying to pump blood through against the pressure in the arteries. Well, the heart is a muscle and it just gets tired and starts to fail. Salt itself also has a direct effect on the heart muscle as well as its effect in raising blood pressure. Now the consequences of that are that these symptoms come on, uh, you just feel slight short of breath, maybe a bit of yeah, tiredness yeah. or weakness, uh, and at that age of 60 you think, well it's just my age, but then it starts to get worse and it just progresses after that. So you're that. not saying no salt, just cut down on yeah, salt. The, the salt, salt is in everything. Is. What on earth it's do you need? Salt. Why, yes, yeah. but why do you need extra salt on anything for? Yeah. Yeah. Everything's full yeah. of salt, everything. Yeah. Why would I mean, you need it? Do you, do you, can you think of a food that you would actually add salt to? Tomatoes. Always. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I would certain foods, like but we're salt. all eating far too much salt. Yeah. And there's no point in me saying, look, uh, the maximum recommended level is six grams a day. What the yes. heck is that? Yeah. Read so, the labels mm. and look not just for salt, mm. but sodium, sodium yeah. chloride. Yes. The interesting thing with the researcher who did this, he said, it's a terrible way to die. He said, I'd rather <laughs> die of cancer than heart failure. Oh, oh my dear. word. Yeah, yeah. Mother? You know what I'm saying there. <laughs> it's a terrible way to die as you pour more. My mother takes delight in saying, I'm putting more salt on that. It's never well, done My dad used to salt everything. It used to drive my mum mad, actually, because he didn't taste the food. He just oh, put that's salt right. on the salt on it. Um, 